Um, I am thrilled on behalf of PEP and our board to present the PEP Rally for Kids Award to the Fowler, the Fowler family. Uh, three years ago when this event was first being designed and the organization was thinking about what do we want to honor at this event, the thought of honoring people and entities who through optimistic and collaborative approaches help leverage resources to the power of good for the children in our community. It's almost as if we flash forward three years and we were thinking about uh, the, Fowler, the Fowler family. One of the many characteristics that is so striking about the Fowlers is their commitment to taking an asset-based approach to everything they do. And in their civic and philanthropic endeavors, they work as a family. For PEP, there's a lot of similarities and connections to what we do. Uh, many people know that Chuck Fowler spends his days at Fairmount Minerals where the corporate motto is, do good, do well. When you get to know the Fowler family, you clearly know that that motto is an outgrowth of how they operate and think as a, as a family. But it's just not about what they do, it's how they do it. When they give, they do it with their hearts and minds fully engaged, and they do it as a loving and caring family that has a real vision for the impact they want to have in our world. There are stories and stories about the generosity, kindness of the Fowler, Fowler family. If you're in this room and you're not aware of some of that generosity and kindness, it implies that you don't read a newspaper, you don't have a radio, you don't have a television, or you don't have the internet. Uh, because the, again, the kindness and generosity is very well known um, and appreciated. Um, you know, working from their very own life experiences, both the tragedies and the good fortune, the family has succeeded in bringing joy and opportunity to those often left behind. This is evident in the way that they have helped create the Angie Fowler Child and Young Adult Cancer Institute at Rainbow. This was not simply about a landmark gift. It was about a 30-year quest to create the kind of place they wished had been in place for their daughter and sister, Angie, and that they wanted to be certain would be there for others like her. Their impact can be seen in our community's largest institutions, but also what's not often known is in small, very unpublicized ways such as Lake Erie Link in Cleveland Heights. Here, youth can come to a safe environment where they will have wonderful opportunities for creative expression and will also receive academic support. The Fowlers saw the potential in this concept and have given it the seed funding, the seed funding it needs to develop into all it can be for the community's children. The list of entities that benefit from the Fowlers' generosity, positive energy, and wisdom is extremely long. We'd be here another half an hour if I went through uh, the, the entire list, but there's one recurring theme when you look through the list, and it is their intent to make the world a better place for children and future generations. Luckily for a positive education program, we're on that list, and I want to share just a very brief story that was told to me by Susan Berger, uh, PEP's uh, development director, about the Fowler's first introduction to positive education program. Um, Char, Chuck, Holly, and Shan uh, agreed to come and visit PEP's Autism Center, the, uh, the Prentice Center. And so this was a big deal within PEP, you know, the Fowler family's coming. And things sort of initially went awry when at the last minute, Frank, the CEO, had an emergency come up and, and couldn't attend. It must have been a heck of an emergency to not be able <laughs> uh, to make that meeting. But anyhow, we put things together and they, uh, Visit came off, the family came out and spent you know, two hours learning about the facility, touring, meeting people. It was a wonderful experience. All of a sudden, Susan realized that, uh-oh, it's three o'clock when the followers are getting ready to leave. And this is when all of the uh, vehicles come to you know, pick up the kids and their, and their families. And Susan and the team looked out, and here's the Fowler family in their three separate cars trapped for at least 30 minutes, I'm told, by you know, various you know, buses and just with, with nowhere to go. So they finally were able to go. Susan and the team looked at each other and said, well, how did that go? <laughs> so um, almost somewhat reluctant and somewhat embarrassed to even submit a request for support, uh, the organization went ahead, submitted the, re the request, and you probably know the, the punchline. The family was very, very generous with, uh, with their support, and it's very, very much appreciated. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, very, it's very fitting and natural that positive education 
program has chosen the Fowlers as our 2012 Pep Rally for Kids honoree. And everything they do, they call people together for a common purpose, joining them to work towards a very positive common cause. Whether it's investing in good people or investing in the environment, their energies always go towards building on our strongest assets. And in all they do, they leave this world much better than they found it. For all of those reasons, it is our distinct honor to have the privilege to present this year's Pep Rally for Kids Award to the Fowler family in celebration of their incredible generosity, unparalleled commitment to the proposition that all children deserve every opportunity to fulfill their potential. So as an expression of our gratitude, we have books we made uh, that are filled with messages and images that express our appreciation for all you do to make this a better and more joyous world for children. I'd like to invite Shar and Chuck Fowler, Shan Spellman, and Holly and Alicia Martins to join me on stage with Frank. <laughs> 